North Korea is welcoming its new leader in waiting, Kim Jong-un, the son of President Kim Jong-il, attended a gala dancing performance last night that followed massive celebrations of the 65th anniversary of the founding of communist North Korea. Joining us now from inside North Korea is CBS News national correspondent Jim Axelrod. Jim, uh, good evening in North Korea. Good evening, Jeff. Foreign reporters were invited here to North Korea by the country's leader, Kim Jong-il, so he could showcase the man designated as his future successor, his son. It was billed as the largest parade in North Korea's history, featuring weapons decorated with the words, defeat the U.S. military. Taking it all in, North Korea's 68-year-old Kim Jong-il and his youngest son, Kim Jong-un, making official what's long been rumored, that his son will succeed him one day, the third generation of the Kim family to rule this nation. I think that the family or the ruling regime is trying to manage this transition over a period of a couple of years. So they're trying to slowly uh, begin to give him a higher profile, but they're taking their time. Not much is known about Kim Jong-un. He is thought to be in his late 20s, educated in Switzerland, reportedly loves American professional basketball, and was made a general two weeks ago by his father. That Kim Jong-un's coming out party was held at this military parade was no accident. North Korea experts say it's vitally important for Kim Jong-un to establish he has supported the military in this country that's run by authoritarian rule. Jeff? Uh, Jim, you've gotten some pretty extraordinary access over there in a, what's normally a very closed-off country. Do you get the sense that this propaganda campaign, this rollout campaign, is working for them right now? Well, I wasn't the only one to get the access. Apparently, more than 100 reporters from 18 countries took up the government's invitation to come in to North Korea, which, as you know, is a rare occurrence. So if they wanted to get wide exposure on this rollout campaign, as you call it, they were successful. Jeff? All right, Jim Axelrod on the ground in Pyongyang, North Korea this morning. Jim, thank you very much.